Hey everyone here, welcome back to my channel. How is everyone doing today? I have a haul update video for you today and all of these items are items that I picked up as far back I believe as August and some of them are fairly new but nonetheless these are all items that I've used and I just want to let you guys know what I think about them. Some of them are collections but I'm not going to review them as a collection. I'm going to review them as individual items. So let's get started because there's quite a few things in here. So the first thing I have sitting right in front of me is from the Dose of Colors with I Love Sarai collection. Um, I don't remember exactly when this came out but I'll have it here. I do know that this collection is still available available on Dose of Colors site and I think Ulta might still have it but this particular item is the highlighter and I believe this is Bathe and I do like this highlighter quite a bit it's really nice um it's on I would say it's more like the, a pinky pearl type so if you like um what's the name of that one Fairly Precious from MAC. I think you will like this quite a bit. I won't be swatching anything right here, but I did take pictures and I will insert them as I'm talking about the highlighters anyways. So this is Bathe and I did like this particular highlighter from the collection. So if you see it, pick it up. The next thing I want to talk about is this Too Faced Tutti Fruity Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. This is the shade Warm Beige. I have it back in the box. I used this a couple of times. Maybe I tried it three times in total. And this was a fail for me because it made my skin, one, break out. And two, it started breaking apart on my skin. It didn't last very long. I don't really care for the smell, but I could overlook the smell if it had better longevity on my skin and if it also didn't cause me to break out. So this was a fail for me nonetheless. I'm sorry to say that. But um, I did keep it so that I could pass it on to someone else. And I did get this at Ulta. I do remember that. Um, another thing that I picked up um, fairly recently. And I've used it only uh, I think once in a video. Um, this is from Urban Decay. And this is the All Nighter Cherry Scented Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This is the mini size. I believe this only came in one size. This is very cute. I love the packaging. But I don't really get what all the hype is of the all-nighter spray. Maybe this works best if you have oily or combo skin. But on my dry, dry, sensitive skin, it did not hold my makeup. My makeup literally just disappeared wearing this. Where other primers I've used, uh, setting sprays, excuse me, work better. I do like the way it smells. I really had high hopes for this and I really wish that it had worked. Because I think it's super cute and it smells amazing. But unfortunately, it's a fail for me. So this is going to go on the pile of things that I will be giving or donating um, away to someone else. So I'm going to show you something else. Um, the next thing that I did not, I don't think I mentioned in a video. I'm not sure if I did or not. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not going to dwell on that part of it. Because some of these items I did use off camera is what I'm trying to say. So the next thing is from Josie Marin. This is the Pure Argan Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. If you have super dry skin, you need this in your life. Especially during the winter time. This stuff has saved my skin. It is amazing. And what I like about it is that it goes on like an oil and a cream mix together. And your um, face just feels really soft and hydrated absolutely love this stuff i can't get enough of it. this is a repurchase i used to buy the smaller size now i get the bigger size another item that is part of a collection this is from the patrick star summer star collection and this is the hot and heavy face powder um it says it's an opulescent so this is a really light um highlighter is what in my opinion let me take the plastic off the packaging is super beautiful i really do like this highlighter quite a bit if you want a really nice light glow to your face this is really really nice another one that i purchased that i have here somewhere um let me grab it to compare it for you guys here it is it's from desi and katie this is chasing the sun um they're very similar if you look at them in the family they're in let me just hold them both the same way so this is um chasing the sun and this is hot and heavy this is definitely more intense like i'm wearing it today it's really been a couple of hours so it's already um subsided a bit so but this if this is for someone who wants a really um intense highlight this is for someone who wants to gradually build it up but i like both of them because there's days that i want to 
a little bit of a glow and there's days that I want a more intense glow. So I do like both of these. Um, so if you can get them, definitely pick them up. Another item is from Dose of Color as well. And this video is not sponsored by Dose of Colors. I just recently discovered them and I'm really liking this brand. So this is from the Ilo Sarai collection as well. This is her eyeshadow palette. This packaging is so pretty. And uh, mine is messy because when I received it, this shade Palma was broken and I fixed it. But uh, Ulta was nice enough and sent me another one. That one is in completely intact. But I decided instead of keeping it, that I'm going to be putting it in a pile of makeup that I either don't use or I've used and I don't want to use anymore because I have too much stuff. But nonetheless, this is a great um, palette. I really do like it a lot. Let me get something to point with. Um, this is a great shadow for every day. And this one as well. I really use these two quite a bit. And then these are great for throwing in, like if you want to do a little variation on them. But I think it's a great palette. And if you still can get it, definitely pick it up. Because I do know that, like I mentioned previously, it's still available on Dose of Color's site. And then another thing that was from that collection, so I have it right in front of me, is her other highlighter. And this one is called Soulmate. This is my favorite from the two. Um, it's a golden shade and it's really, really nice. I love it a lot. I use this quite a bit. And then I have another one here that I got um, to compare it to. It's from Desi and Katie's um, Round 2 collection. And this is the shade Fuego. I know this came out in the first collection they did with Dose of Colors. And I didn't want that to fall on the floor. Oh, I just nicked it. Oh, I hate when I do that. I dug my finger in there. Oh, well. So I got to hold it because it's really tight. So this is Fuego and this is Soulmate. And, um... They're similar, but they're not identical. I would try to have comparisons, but I like both of them because I think they both wear very differently. I believe that they are bo both very um, individual in themselves, even though they're both in the same family. So this is Soulmate and this is Fuego and I absolutely love both of them. So if you can get them, definitely pick them up. I think they are phenomenal. And it's so funny, I have become a person who really, as you can see, likes to put a lot of highlight on my face and I never used to be that way before. So another thing that I wanna mention that's really been hyped up a lot here on YouTube, I literally see just about every YouTuber using this. So I finally picked it up and it's the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And the concept of this is amazing. It sprays all over your face and really hydrates and wets it down and everything. And it's supposed to set your makeup and it smells good. It has a great mister on it. But for me, I don't know why when I use this, it caused my entire makeup to crease everywhere. Like I tried one time just doing like a slight mist. It did the same thing. Um, and I even tried like like the heavy mist. It was even worse. So that's how come I went down. I sprayed it a lot and I was like, okay, maybe I put too much. Then I did a medium misting, same thing. Then I did a very light misting, same thing. So unfortunately, this has to go um, to someone else. I know someone else would enjoy it, but it didn't work for me, even though it's a great product, I think. But it just failed for me. And I'm sorry to say that because I really had high hopes for this as well. Um, then another thing that I recently tried that I think is a great quad. And I believe you can still pick this up too. And it's from MAC. And this is the Patrick Star collection. And this particular eyeshadow is called Overpacked. And it comes in the Boy About Town um, collection. And I did a video with this. Oh, I almost lost the plastic. And these shades are just so winter inspired. You guys can see that right there. They are beautiful. This shade here was a little bit hesitant about using it. But when I put it on, I fell in love with it. And I really, really quite enjoyed this quad. So if you can pick it up, definitely pick it up. It's on sale for $25.50. I paid, I think, $42.50 for the collection, which is this lip right here. And this one is called Patty Pop. Yes. And I am not someone who likes red. And I did the video using these two items. And I love the way the lip went on um, at first. But I didn't like how it wore throughout the day. Because I felt like it just made my lips feel like I had something tight on them. Especially after I ate or drank something. It wasn't very comfortable after that. But what I did do um, that helped me to be able to use this again. Because I've worn it again. Just not on camera. Um, I wear lipstick sometimes just around my house. Just because... You know, we have so much makeup, we have to utilize it, right? Especially if we love it. <laughs> so I ended up picking up the MAC uh, Lip and Prime one uh, stick that they have. I thought I grabbed it, but I didn't. I picked that up and I tried it with this and it solved 
the issue you put that on first and you put this on top and it works great and a dupe that i feel like you could use if you don't want to buy the mac one is um is it cover girl i think it's cover girl that has that you know two in one we put the the thing to lock the lip in place so put that first and then put the lip on top and i think it'll just do the same thing so what i'm trying to say this collection is definitely something that i feel you should pick up especially if you're someone who likes red lips and if you like more like fall tone shades and the packaging is so pretty you know and it's so compact and you just have a little look right here you throw in you know your other essentials that you need and you're good to go another thing that i picked up that i haven't mentioned in the video is from sephora this is a daily brush cleaner and this stuff really works like at first i was like this is not really doing anything but i was using it wrong because it just it tells you to not spray it directly on the brush so you spray it on like a towel or something and then you you quickly buff your brush in and it cleans your brush so so fast and it gets foundation off really quick like i was like whoa this stuff is great for spot cleaning your brushes so if you can find it in a sephora get it i don't think they sell it anymore online but i was really impressed with this and um if i can get it again i will definitely pick it up again and since we're talking about brush cleaners this one from sigma i wanted to do a video showing you the magic this is the right name for it sig magic um this stuff literally takes okay let me show this is a foundation brush it's not dirty but if you took this brush and it had foundation on it and you just buff it into that little, I have the little mat that they sell, it literally disappears right before your eyes. Like usually when I will clean my brushes before I purchase this, they would always, it would always look clean. And then when it would dry, I'm like, oh, there's like a still little spot. And me, I want it to be spotless. I don't want it to have any foundation in it. So I'm so glad that I picked this up. It just dissolves your um, foundation instantly, concealer, whatever you put on it. This stuff is great. So if you've been looking for something, pick this up. Since we're talking about removers, these little packets that they sell in Sephora are the cutest thing, first of all. This is the watermelon. The uh, one that I got before this was in coconut. So I like both of them, the watermelon and the coconut. I got the bigger size of the coconut since I got a little one of the coconut and I used it up. And this one works really good too if you have dry skin. So if you have dry skin, get either the watermelon one or the coconut one. The next one I want to try is the papaya one because that one's supposed to be exfoliating. So these are really cute and they smell great and they work amazing to take off your makeup. So um, definitely you should pick this up. The next item I tried out in a video for you guys and this is the brow brow contour pro from benefit cosmetics and the idea of this is very innovative it's really nice but i think that this is more for someone who really wants to take their time you know sit there and outline and fill in and highlight and do all that that's not me I, that's not my thing with my eyebrows it's not because i don't think it looks nice i think it looks amazing when someone is done after they carve out the eyebrows and i'm like dang i wish i could do that with my brows and i tried using this and it's just too many steps for me i think it's just for me it's just easier to go in and pencil them in and that's it and put some a clear coat on it and i'm good to go but i think this is a great product it just didn't work for me so this is going in that pile of things that i will be giving away to someone else and then another thing that i tried that i know people are going to be like what really because this thing has been around this thing sold out it was like so everybody had to get it and it's the tart double duty beauty shape tape contour concealer I got the shade 35H Medium Honey. I finally picked this up and I got it because Ulta had an um, incentive to get it. And I didn't end up paying full price for it. I think I got it for like $12 or something because they had some kind of a coupon. And then on top of that, I had some Ulta points that I used. So I didn't pay full price for it. But I would have paid full price for this either way if it worked out for me. But it didn't work out for me. What I don't like is that I feel like I literally have to go in and put more in and i feel like it's too sheer i go back in and you're probably thinking i got the wrong shade but it's not that i just it's not the wrong color because i don't like to do that you know extremely highlighted under eye look i want to cover my bags um and my dark circles i mean and i don't want to have to put on like a pound of concealer to cover it you know because with my mac one i just go boom boom and buff out and i'm good so it brings us to this concealer that i recently picked up um, the Jouer one, I tried this in a sample. This blew this one out of the water. I'm sorry, guys. So this one was not, didn't work for me. I don't know if it's because I have dry skin. I don't know. It just didn't work for me. It just, 
I didn't like how it looked. If anything, it made me look like I had like texture under my eyes and I don't. So if you have dry skin, I don't recommend this concealer. But if you have dry skin or any more normal combination oily, I recommend this one. This one goes on like a butter and it buffs out so beautifully. And I immediately fell in love with this one. I got the first sample and I just ordered it the same day. So I highly recommend this. The next item you guys should not be surprised about what I'm going to say. And this is from the Jaclyn Hill collection with Morphe. This is the Ring the Alarm. This thing is so beautiful and I created like three different looks with it. And as much as I want this to work for me, I couldn't get it to work. And I'm probably wondering, Eva, why do you still have the palette? It's just so pretty in these colors. So I thought, let me keep the palette so that I can find um, shades that are similar to the ones in here. And then I could just kind of create a palette like this, but not the quality of these because I feel like it just didn't work. And I know people are saying, oh, the price point, whatever. There's eyeshadows out there that are $1, $2, $3, and they're still good. But this didn't work for me no matter what I tried. So I'm sorry to say that I could not get this to work for me. But it seems to be the case with a lot of people who have this palette. Another thing that came in that Summer Star collection is the bronzer. This one's called Gimme Life. And um, something that's similar to it from what I've heard is the, is it Gimme? Give me sun from MAC. But I think this one's a little bit lighter. And this is a really nice bronzer if you want something that's very subtle. Like you can really build this up. This stuff is buildable. I'm wearing it today. Um, but I like that you can just do like a little sweep, a little flush and make it look like a little sun kiss. But if you want to really carve out those cheeks and chisel, you know, your nose, contour it, this will work as well. So I do like this quite a bit. And um, definitely you should get it if you can. And then another thing that I recently picked up uh, through recommendation of Rosita, she was talking about some of her favorite things, um, Rosita Applebaum, Beauty by Rosita on Instagram, is this blush from MAC and it's called Desert Rose. I absolutely love this shade. I'm wearing it today. And also, uh, it's such a beautiful color. Like, it literally looks like you are blushing when you put this on. And what I like about it is you can really buff it out and it looks so natural on you as well. So this is a great shade for everyone to try out, I believe. Okay, so another thing that I picked up I know this video is really long. If it's too long, maybe I'll cut it in two. If not, I'll just try to keep it on one video. So thanks for hanging in there if you're, you've gotten this far. Um, this is a no-brainer. Those are colors. Frankation. If you haven't gotten it, you need to pick it up. This palette is amazing. These eyeshadows, these colors. You can create so many looks with it. I'm actually wearing it today also. Um, put it this way. If you're looking for someone... Maybe better if I show you the colors. If you're looking for someone to give an eyeshadow palette to, this is the one to give them. Because it, it's great for beginners so they could try a little color, do a very basic look every day. I mean, I love this palette. I've been using this nonstop. Love it. Can't say it enough. Nothing but good things about it. So if you haven't gotten it, you need to pick it up. I should have mentioned these when I was talking about eyebrows. These I love. And these. this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. to shade 4.5. This is the mini one. I love this. And I love the 24-hour brow setter gel. This stuff is awesome. It's like shellac on your eyebrows. If you want something to hold everything in place and not move at all, you can't touch your eyebrows though because it's not going to go anywhere. You need that. And this brow, pom brow pomade. I said bra, didn't I? Brow pomade is what I meant to say. And this is shade 4.5. That's the shade that I have the pencil in as well. This is the mini. I got the mini of these two because I already have other brow products. And it takes me forever to finish anything. Like if you guys knew me, you'd be like, how long have you had that mini Anastasia brow pencil? And you still have it. You would not believe me. And it has not gone down at all. So I don't know what it is with that. I see other people go through things quickly. But these three are amazing. If you haven't tried them, you need to pick them up. They are awesome. I have the pomade on today on my eyes. And this is shade 4.5. I think it might be a little dark for me. Let me know what you guys think. But let's talk about some lip products. I have quite a few here to talk to you guys about. The first lip I want to mention. This is from Dose of Colors. And this is the shade Mocha. This is the shade right here. Uh, I'm wearing it in another video. And I've worn it quite a bit on Instagram. This has become like my everyday to just pop it on. It's really moisturizing on the lips. I absolutely love it. Um, if you're looking for a Your Lips But Better Lip, I highly recommend this. And this tube... This packaging, so slim. I love it. It's a rose gold color. Beautiful. And you can find these at Ulta as well. This next one is from ColourPop. And this is the shade Softy. Oh my god, I love this color. This is a great everyday lip as well. Let's say you want something a little bit more darker to wear. 
definitely need to get this they still have it in color pop i believe and it's very inexpensive as well this is an ultra matte lip and it's super comfortable on the lips my lips don't feel tight or like the moisture is getting sucked out of them so if you like lips that stay all day definitely get this and even um this one doesn't go anywhere either it, it lasts through eating as well some more lip options that i have here that i purchased um this one is also from ColourPop, and this is the ultra matte lip by Karuchi with ColourPop, and this is the shade Rooch. And I do have the lip pencil, and that's why I decided to get the lip, the liquid lip, because I wanted to get it previously, but it kept selling out. So finally, I was able to get it, and I absolutely love it. Um, I am wearing it on one of my Instagram posts. If I could find that picture, I'll pop it in here so you guys can see that, but I love it. And then this one is with Karen from I Love Sarai, and this is an ultra matte lip, also from ColourPop, and this is Sueño de Coco. This is like the perfect neutral lip. Not, it's not pink. It's not purple. It's a beautiful like nude, you know, that nude brown color, beige color, but you don't look like you have ghost lips. This is a beautiful color. I love it. And it's very comfortable lips as well. It's just like this. I really do like the um formula from ColourPop with their ultra matte lips. I expected them to be very like dehydrating on my lips and very uncomfortable. And they are super comfortable. So if you haven't tried anything from ColourPop, which I don't see how you haven't, because I was late to the game in trying them, but all I do is now, every time ColourPop comes off, so I'm like, oh, I want to try this, I want to try this. So I love the formulations, what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to show you the next um, lip things that I uh, want to talk to because I have quite a few here left. So the first one should not be a surprise to you is from Dose of Colors. And this is from the I Love Sarai, right? I Love Sarai collection, and this is the shade um, Fuego. This one I absolutely love. Um, I forget what video I wore it in, but I'll pop in the picture hopefully i remember and i absolutely love this shade this is a beautiful like it's like a orange tone red no it's not orange tone. no i'm sorry it's like a pink tone red that's why i think fresa has the perfect uh description of it because that's that means strawberry in spanish if you guys didn't know that and strawberries are like this color so i do love this one quite a bit um and the other ones that we have in here i have them in their packaging because i haven't worn them i've just swatched them um so i would insert swatches that i did for when i did the ulta haul um so i haven't worn these i'm not going to wear them this is the shade peachy and the reason why i'm not going to wear this because i don't know as much as i want to get a peach tone lip they just don't look good on me i think that i look too washed out too dead in the lips so that's why i'm like no i'm gonna have to pass on this so i just swatched this so it's gonna go to someone else who can give it some love the next shade i have for you is called aesthetic I thought I was going to love this shade, but when I swatched it on the back of my hand, I was like, oh, this is just too, I don't know. Like, I already know. You know how when you swatch something, you know when you're going to like it on your lips or not? And I was like, you know what? That's just not going to look good on me. So I just, it means the same packaging. I was like, no, you know, I'm just going to pass it along. I'm not going to put it on my lips. I'm just going to swatch it and then give it to someone else. And that's why I still have it. Then the next one, this one I did wear, actually, I think I wore it in my Ulta haul video. And this one's called Nude Chica. This color, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. I think it looks good, but then I was like, is is this only a color that's good for me when I'm tan? Can I wear it when I'm not tan? So I've just gotten to the point that if I'm a little too indecisive about something, I'm not going to keep it. Because that's what I do with a lot of makeup and that's why I have so much makeup to donate now because I'm like, oh, I like it. Use it the one time and I didn't use it again. And that's just a shame and a crime. So Nuchu Chica, I like it, but not enough to keep it. But I think it's a beautiful color. So we're going to go on to the next shade. So the next one from that same collection, this is Brillo, which means shine. And I really thought this was going to be such a beautiful color, but I didn't try it on my lips at all because when I swatched it on the back of my hand, it just felt very grainy. And I was like, I'm not going to like how that's going to feel on my lips. So I don't know if maybe when you put on your lips, it, you don't feel it, but I didn't want to risk contaminating it, you know, with my lips or whatever. And I just swatched it and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pass it on to someone else. So I haven't used it. So it's going in the pile of makeup that I will be giving away. The last lip I have for you, I believe. Yeah, this is the last one. And this one is barely there. I only swatched this one and it just felt really thick to me. And I was like, I don't think I want to try that on my lips. So I definitely, definitely did not like this texture. So 
beautiful color but i don't want anything that feels thick on my lips these two eyeliners i just recently picked up and they're both from um i was gonna say color pop from urban decay <laughs> and this is perversion and this new one is called where is it is alkaline this is a beautiful wine color i absolutely love the formulation of urban decay eyeliners if you haven't tried them you need to try them they are amazing and they do not dry up. I have some that I'm uh, gonna admit here are more than four years old and I swatched them and they're still good. And when I sharpen them, they're still just as if the first day I got them. So if you haven't tried any, definitely should pick some up. They are amazing. Another thing that I picked up from a sample is the Marc Jacobs Shameless Youth Look 24 Hour Foundation Medium Y370. This stuff is awesome. I love it. I thought it was going to be like not great on my skin since it's so dry. But you can't tell now because I've used it and I shook it up. But it's up to here. It's like almost halfway already. So I should tell you how much of this I've used. I'm actually wearing it today. This is a great um, foundation. I absolutely love it. If you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. And I have dry skin and I think it works great on me. Um, the thing that I've been using mostly to set it is this Flower Beauty Seal the Deal. Hydrating setting spray and dewy finish this stuff is awesome i see why tati likes it so much it works great i used it today to set my makeup it's just amazing i'm gonna try to get uh, another one once this one is done because i don't want to do the backups like we tend to do because then it's like i take forever and then i have all this makeup and then i'm like oh what am i doing why i got all this makeup another eyeshadow palette that i picked up and this is the latest one from karen this is the true I want to say through your eyes always through my eyes and this is with color pop i love sarai and this is such a beautiful palette packaging wise and all these shades here i mean you can literally do any look this is for someone who likes color someone who likes neutrals someone who wants something that has a little spring in there a little fall in there so if you can still pick this up on color pop definitely get it um i've only filmed one look using it but i have used it a couple of times and i do need to film those looks for you but i love this palette i think it's great the quality is amazing i wish i had um used their eyeshadows more um sooner is what i'm trying to say but nonetheless i love this palette i think you should definitely get it i think every makeup lover should have it another thing that i picked up recently and this is from dior this is the backstage face and body foundation this is in 3n and i had the little sample of this and i immediately got the full size um this stuff is awesome i love this you just buff it all over your face and you have a quick look real quick um why did i say quick twice <laughs> but you know what i mean it just buffs in beautifully and it's amazing i don't think it has a sharp smell to it, like some people have said and it has great longevity absolutely love it another item that i picked up that everyone goes gaga over and they absolutely love and this is the la girl pro concealer hd high definition concealer and i have the shade medium beige this i did not like at all i don't know if it's because i'm over 40 um this does not work on me it didn't have any enough coverage for me and it creased like crazy even using my cat Von D, you guys know i love that powder this was a no-go and I will not be using this again. This mascara from Revlon. This is the Volume Plus Length Magnified. I love this mascara. This is a repurchase for me. I never talked about it before. So I wanted to let you guys know that it's a repurchase. And it's still working great for me. And I absolutely love it. Makes my eyelashes look amazing. Love it. And this base from Makeup Forever Step 1. This is the Nourishing Primer. This stuff is awesome. If you have dry skin, you need this. My other favorite one is from Napoleon Purtis, but it's hard to find that one. This is amazing, especially your skin flakes a lot. If you have really dry skin in the wintertime, this is going to help you. You'll thank me later. Love it. I have three more things for you and then we are done. If you made it all the way to now, thank you so much. Um, the next thing is another mascara. This is from Maybelline, New York. And this is the Colossal Big Shot with... Um, Makeup by Shayla. And this is the mascara I'm wearing today. I love this mascara. I feel like the more I use it, the better it gets because it's a dry formula. And I love mascaras that have a dry formula. It does not flake. And it does not get all under my eyes. So I love it. If you can find it, try it out. And I like that it's really, really dark. I love mascara to be the blackest possible because it makes my eyelashes look amazing. Love this one. And the brush on this one is really good too. If you're looking for a base 
to use with eyeshadows that people tend to try to put on with their finger, which is not my thing to do. Um, this is from NYX and this is the glitter primer. This stuff is great. This reminds me of that primer that they don't make anymore. I don't know if it's from LA Splash or LA Girl. It's discontinued. They don't sell it anywhere. I have mine. I finally threw it away. I wouldn't use it, but this is definitely a do for that. So if you liked that, um, base, that primer base, sticky base, you're going to like this one. And this is really inexpensive as well. And last but not least, we have another Patrick Star item with MAC. I don't know if I said that before, but this is the I'm Not Blushing Powder Blush Duo. How pretty is that packaging? This is the only thing that I've used from that collection. I still have to use it. Um, but these are the two shades right there. I don't know the names of the blushes exactly that he used. I have been trying to um, like find it online, but I have not been successful at finding it. So if you guys know which one they are let me know um i'm thinking this might be um oh my god i don't know i honestly don't know i, I guessed before but i can't remember now if i can remember i'll do a little pop up over my head who, which one i think this one is and which one i think the, this one is but i like using this in my um as my contour shade and this all over my cheeks and it just it looks so pretty but i really would like to know what blushes they are so that you know i could use them individually and videos so i don't have to say hey i'm using this limited edition packaging even though i do want to use my makeup i do want to have stuff for you all that you can use and purchase and i have to be like oh that's limited edition and i can't find it so that was everything that i had to update you guys on for my haulage and i know i forgot some things but that's because if you guys are wondering about this brush i got this on amazon it'll be linked down below awesome blush brush i love it it's very inexpensive too <laughs> Um, <laughs> I guess I tried. So I will have everything listed down below. There will be a Pinterest board as well. Something new I've been doing with my videos. I started doing again, actually. I used to do it before, but a lot of people didn't seem to be clicking on them. But I like to do that so that if you are liking certain things that I'm mentioning in the video, you could just go to the print Pinterest board and see everything that I mentioned and just scroll down and click on the thing that you want. It'll take you where you can buy it. None of my links for that item are affiliated to let you know that i do not make any money off of any of this i'm just a makeup lover everything you saw in this video was purchased by me at some point or another it was not given to me it was i was not told to talk about it this is my own personal experience and my opinion with everything that i've showed you so just check down the description box it would have all the information you need please follow me on instagram and um facebook pinterest and all my other things, Snapchat, that I have, it'll be all listed down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.